I'm Terry Morrell. Um, a little about myself. Uh, my education is in x-ray uh, and I have a minor in human resources. Um, I've been working at NCMC for about 12 years now. Um, the reason I feel I like to be a board member is I have currently two children in the school. Next year I will have three. Um, I enrolled them here as soon as I could. That meaning I adopted my children through the foster care system and really didn't have any say where I could put them initially. So once I adopted them, about two years ago, May 21st, um, I, was, I decided to pursue Charter Academy. And I, I love it here. It's night and day from the experience I had at some other schools. Um, I just want to say, to be on the board member, I feel um, that you need to be an open-minded individual, uh, community-oriented, understand diverse needs, um, have leadership skills, and be able to do like an educator training. And whatever I say, my position now, I do a lot of educating and training. I'm a PAC specialist now. So I support the x-ray system, where all the x-rays go on to and the dictation system and that kind of stuff. So I had a lot of end users that had issues and I have to help them. So I have a lot of that experience. Um, and you need to be able to listen to all aspects, keep an open mind, you know you're not always right. Um, there are other ideas out there. And you gotta have undivided loyalty to the school and to the board. Um, and as a board member, you gotta wear kind of like a two hats, you know, you're here as a parent and you're here as a board member, you need to be able to separate those. Um, so I think that's very important. Um, if we need to be a, be a positive role model to everybody, you know, keep things positive if you don't agree with what the other person is saying. Um, and just as a preactive thing, I had found on the Colorado League of Charter Schools that there are learning modules out there for, charter, or for board members, which I went ahead and started doing those. Um, haven't gotten very far, but I am working on them. And I also noticed that there are conferences out there for board members to go to. And I see that there's one scheduled next February, uh, the 21st and 22nd. And those are things that I would also pursue doing so I can educate myself and um, help the board out. So anyway. I'm Tara Peterson. I have a fourth grader and a second grader here at the charter school. They started in kindergarten, so they've been their way through. So I'll be here quite a while longer yet, so surely I have three years to commit to um, being a board member. Um, I've uh, loved talking my services. I'm a level-headed person, very logical. I get along with all types of people. Um, and I feel I can give respect when I'm getting respect back. But in either case, I would be respectful to um, whoever comes to the board meeting or whoever is presented any issues of any sort. Um, my job right now, I work part time from home, and so my hours are flexible. I know sometimes <coughs> the board members have to come in um, during the middle of the day for meetings or for emergencies whatsoever, whatever. So I'm flexible with my schedule. Um, for the most part. <laughs> um, I'm just awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, um, and if anybody has any specific questions, feel free. I don't know. I didn't plan five minutes, so somebody ask a question. Why do you want to be on the board? I want to be on the board because I feel like I can be a good um, a helper, and I can be fair, and I can listen. Um, I can help the school. Um, balance the budget, decide what, what things are most important, what things can be put on the back burner for later. Um, I have a degree in computer information systems, so the technology is real important to me um, in the education system, and I think it's so important going forward that we incorporate that in the charters, charter system. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Committees and any board meetings. Hi, I'm Laura Whining. 
I have two daughters currently at Windsor Journal Academy. They started in kindergarten. They've been here now. I've been with this school for six years. I have another six years before I'll be done with this school. So I have a vested interest in how this school does and the outcomes that they have. Um, I'm a professional educator. I work for Front Range Community College in the nursing education department. I also work for the University of Northern Colorado as adjunct faculty there teaching. I have a master's of science degree in nursing and a certificate in nursing education for teaching as well. I also hold many additional credentials related to education and nursing. What I can bring to WCA board as a member would be experience as an educator, and that has included management of various nursing program responsibilities, um, challenges that, has, that arise within students and educators alike, experience as a program director in education, and I have led an initiative to successfully raise over $10,000 through creative fundraising to benefit students. Um, I have experience as a volunteer board member for Quality Crafters in Windsor that organizes the Christmas in Windsor Craft Show. Um, it also donates all of its proceeds to the community members um, that are in financial need. Um, in addition, I'm also in charge of the advertising for that large event through Northern Colorado and Wyoming newspapers, so I'm familiar with that aspect as well. I'm interested in becoming a board member because I would like to play a more active role in the future successes of Windsor Turner Academy and its sustainability. I am not looking to overhaul where WCA currently is as an institution, but I'm interested in working collaboratively, collaboratively with other board members, administrators, teachers, and parents to continue to evaluate and respond to necessary changes that would benefit WCA in the future. As a board member, I feel I could be a new member that comes in without predisposing opinions and have creative ideas to benefit WCA in the future. I believe in listening before taking action and always treating others with respect, and this is how I would like to participate in the WCA board. I feel like I have a lot of experience and creativity to assist WCA in meetings, in meeting its goals that are set for the future. Um, I have attended several of the board meetings and been involved in um, committees that have revolved, I've been involved in the education committee over the years, um, parent meetings obviously I'm trying to attend, and that answered your question. Okay. I guess that's all. Thank you. Sorry. My name is James Bramer. Uh, all my life I've been called GM, you know, and sometimes my wife calls me other things too. But um, it may be a surprise to you, but I don't have any children in this school. And if I did, I'd be in trouble because they're in their mid 20s and my oldest is 16 and playing in high school at this hall. So uh, you ask yourself, why would I stand up here overdressed and ask to be on the board? I am a professional decision maker, oftentimes in conflicted areas, and sometimes where I can just I'm an attorney here in town and have been in Northern Colorado with license in Wyoming for 28 years. I'm interested because of the charter, my, my interest in the charter school concept. None of my children were able to come to this charter school because of other circumstances, but um, I like the charter school mission and the core knowledge part of it especially. As a veteran of these wars with three kids, including my oldest who have learning disabilities, uh, the public school model as it is elsewhere fails in a lot of ways. Um, I also am a, I'm an employer and I'm a people watcher because I deal with people who hate each other, can't talk to each other, and other people that just want a piece of paper to say what they want to. And it's it's amazing to me after doing this 29 years how I wonder, why didn't you learn that in school? Um, oftentimes people are in jail because of that or are in a big lawsuit because of it. And to me it kind of goes right down to the building blocks. I'm a public school kid myself. And it seems to me I'm dating myself, but back then we did more of a core knowledge approach, step upon step upon step, so that you had after the third grade what you needed in the fourth grade. I have kids in the system. I wonder every day, what, what did you learn today? 
unfortunately, sometimes it's I don't think you learn too much. So it's the core knowledge thing that I would like to get involved in. Why? I've got, as you know, I've got two out of the nest and one on the edge of the nest. And I find myself getting into things like this where I try to volunteer to give my experience, my training to that attitude. And one other, I guess it's a cheerleading point, but as I see it, I've, I've been to a board meeting or, or two. There's this tension, sometimes this cooperative tension, but some tension between what the federal and state government requires us to do and what our charter, which we're trying to carve out, this way of doing it means. And as a lawyer, you know, lawyers have this special language that no one else can understand for a reason, I guess. It's self-preservation. But, but I could bring that ability to look at statutes, look at regulations, and say, okay, we have a task. We want to go from A to B. How do we do that within this framework? I've done umpteen thousand cases in that environment. Uh, and lastly, uh, just to my philosophy, I don't have any preconceived notions about this school. I don't have a kid in the third grade here. But it would be my thinking that as a board member in this board, because the founders of this school had a vision and they did everything that was necessary to jump through all the hoops to get this type of Cornell school connected to but separate from the public schools, grade schools, they did that because they wanted parental involvement in their kids and what their kids were learning. So as a board member, I don't see myself as a lofty stuffed shirt who says, I'm sorry the statute makes us do this to you. I would see myself on the other side. Okay, we're parents, I want to listen to you. I'm like the politician that says, I'm going to vote my conscience. I don't see myself as that way if I'm elected. I see myself as someone who will listen to you and see if we can go that direction to make it work. Of course, under the laws, under the restrictions, anything else that we have to do to keep the charter going. So that's how I would look at any board decision. Uh, I mediate cases where I'm putting two heads together uh, very often. Um, I hope that a board wouldn't be contentious, but the last point I would make is that I've learned over all these years that People don't like to debate because they think they're fighting. My philosophy is to recognize that you can debate, be civil, and come to a better conclusion, in this case for the Academy's mission, by allowing the debate to occur because the better decision comes from. I don't know if I answered all the questions. I've not been on any committees here, obviously. I've seen a board meeting in this context occur. I've seen many board meetings. I acted as a parliamentarian in a lot of board meetings, you know, hundreds. I've been on the uh, Fort Collins Base Camp Board, which is an outgrowth of the, uh, we attempted to get a YMCA in town. It didn't happen, but the base camp is before and after school enrichment program that took off and uh, had some rocky road at the start. We did that in the evening, just like I do this job. Um, Youth baseball, and you know, again, I did youth baseball. I did all that stuff. When my kids weren't in it, my kids never were in the base camp. It's kind of one of those things where I didn't want to have a, a conflict of interest or want to push my kid. And so here I am now on the other side of 50, getting myself back in the community to try to do that. Thank you. Thank you.